Hey everybody, welcome to this particular safety course put on by OSHASafetyWalletCards.com. This promo video is about OSHA's 1926 Subpart P Standard, Trenching, Excavation, and Soil Mechanics. What we cover is not just the OSHA standard, but we cover, we cover other safety principles that will enable you to be a well-rounded safety operator. We're going to conduct real job site inspections, and we're going to discuss the physical and psychological effects of accidents and how we can prevent those accidents. We offer free safety courses. No obligation, no gimmicks, no jokes, no spam mail, none of that. How do we do this? Well, we create a safety course for you, and we put it up on the web. We, we create a promo video like this, and then we begin to work on another safety video. Well, until that second safety video is completed, this one remains free. And then when that second safety video is completed, that one becomes free, and then we start charging for this one, and so on, and so on. We do it this way, number one, to offer you free safety courses. And number two, it encourages to keep putting 10 years of safety, health and safety experience accumulated over military, government, and private sector industries and encourages to take all that content and develop these awesome safety courses for you. They're interactive, there's quizzes, you ask me questions and I answer back, um, and most importantly you get a certificate immediately at the, at the end of the course. And one really cool thing about this course is the convenience. You can take it on your smartphone, take, it on the, uh, take the course on the computer in your office, in the cab of your truck, on your lunch break, and you will receive a certificate of completion that you could fold up and put it in your wallet. And most importantly, these courses are yours. Once you enroll in the course, you can download the course content, download the material, the videos, the PowerPoint slides, take it to your management, take it to your guys, and put your name on it. I mean, you enrolled in it, and in some cases, in most cases, you paid for it. So take it, it's yours, print them up, Distribute them freely. Use them for your safety classes. You can push uh, uh, safety. You can push your employees to the website so they can take the course themselves. This course, when you enroll, now belongs to you. Thank you for listening to this promo video, and um, click the link below. That'll take you over to the course and uh, take full advantage. Thanks and God bless. In this course, you will be trained not only an OSHA's trenching, excavation, and soil mechanics standard, but I'm going to give you the tools necessary to be a well-rounded, fully encompassed safety official. Yes, our focus is going to be on trenching, excavation, and soil mechanics, but your takeaway from this course is not just going to be that. You're going to be that well-rounded worker, that well-rounded safety officer that your company is going to look to. You're going to give your bosses, you're going to give your company you're going to give your management a reason to give you a promotion or a raise just by being safe and helping them save money by doing so. We are living and breathing human beings with families. There are effects on us whenever an accident happens, whether or not somebody is injured. The physical effects result in our hindrance of being able to earn for our families. And then there's a psychological effect that we have undergone by being wounded or being injured in the accident. And now our families has to have to see that. That plays a psychological effect on them. I'm sure they love you and they don't want to see you hurt. And let's not forget the other employees, your colleagues. There's a psychological effect on them when they see you or they see an injured worker or witness an accident. Imagine you witnessing your best friend's body or just somebody else on the job site's body being pulled from a trench caveman. Uh, trench caveman. And now you're being asked to get into that trench and you know if you don't, it's going to cost you your job. So these are all effects we just want to avoid altogether. Let's be safe. Let's take care of each other. Let's make sure that we are in a position to return home to our families in the same way that we left. And let's do that for our fellow workers also. In doing so for our fellow workers, they in turn will watch our backs. And the whole job site, everybody else goes home at the end of the night. And for being safer, we can take advantage of some of those incentives that our employers offer. Thank you so much for signing up for this course. 
and I really look forward to spending some time with you here in the near future as we go through it. So, this is what I have to offer you from this course. You can take it or leave it, but I promise you it will improve your chances of getting a raise and moving up in the world. Take this course. Apply what you learn. This course is what you get. What I mean by that is you can have it. You can put your name on it. Put your company logo on it. Do whatever you want with it. Take it. Download it. Use the content. Present it to your supervisors as it's yours. Take it to them if you know that there's a safety issue or if you know that this company that you work for is very safety conscious. Download these slides. Take them to your supervisor and say, hey, I got some really good stuff I want to present. Well, I, want to, I, want, I got some really good stuff I want to give you to present. Don't just meet the standard. Exceed it. Develop safety practices where you work that will help people and help them go home at the end of the day in the same way they left. You will develop a safety-minded culture within your workplace that your supervisor, your management, and the corporate will appreciate. This is your time to shine. This is not just more education. This is just not so you can have a wallet card in, in, in your back pocket, which you will get. But this is an opportunity to move up by being safety conscious and saving your company money, company money and saving them lives and health as well. Let's take a look at some pictures. For instance, in these two pictures, we have a group of workers at a job site I was at for a major retailer that was under construction. So one of the program managers came up to me and said they needed, these guys needed a soil trenching and excavation class tomorrow in order for them to stay on the job. No big deal. I had one of them already printed up. All I had to do was throw it in the back of my truck, throw some folding chairs in the back of my truck. I took this exact computer, popped it down the tailgate of the truck, handed out these slides that you too can print out, plug some general computer speakers into my computer, and press play. All right, we went through the whole standard in about an hour. The gentleman on the right, analyzing the soil, 20 minutes before this class, 20 minutes you know, before we, the end of this class, he couldn't tell you what kind of soil that was. Well, now he can. Using the resources that I'm making available to you in this presentation and the resources that are at your job site. This is just one example of what you can do to shine. This is just one example of what you can do to keep yourself and to keep your fellow workers safe and help develop a safety-minded culture at your place of business. Good afternoon, everybody. Wherever you're at in the world, I want to thank you for sticking with me thus far. We're only in the beginning. we got some ways to go, but I'm grateful for your presence anyway. So, soil and trenching excavation operations. The standard is 29 CFR 1926 subpart P. That's OSHA's 29th Code of Federal, Federal Regulations, 1926, which is the construction industry, subpart P. Trenches, excavations, holes in the ground, they are everywhere and they are dangerous. They are so part of our lives, even as a non-construction worker, even as just somebody who's, you know, out and about in their daily lives, we're always coming in contact with, you know, construction sites. And on these construction sites, there are encumbrances and holes and trenches as common as the air we breathe. And because we're always around them, we just accept them or we overlook them or they just become as everyday life as the air we breathe. Well, tell you what, complacency kills. You know, you get used to it and at first you might see it and like a snake, you see that that snake is dangerous and they can kill you. But if you're on that snake every day, 8, 12, 16 hours a day, after a while you don't care about it. Well, guess what? It could still bite you. Same thing goes for a trench. It's there and it can kill you. Digging a hole seems simple, but it is not, right? There's gas lines, there's, there could be water, there could be pollution. Uh, people can fall in, people can get trapped, and most dangerously, you know, there are cave-ins. There are over 100 deaths per year and 1,000 injuries per year. And three cubic feet of dirt from any part of the walls of that trench weighs as much as a small car. So 
even if half of your body was outside the trench, even if you're in a trench that's only three feet deep, that doesn't require any tr uh, trench protection or, or a ladder because it's only three feet deep, if that trench were to cave in three cubic feet of, deep, of, of dirt, that's a car falling onto your legs. All right? How well do you think you're going to walk away from a trench cave in if the trench is only three feet deep, yet it weighs about as much as of a car falling on you? I'll tell you what, you're probably not going to. Look, I'm going to say this right now. Check your pride at the door. On construction sites and oil rigs, you know, men and women all have their pride. You know, part of them does not want to look weak by addressing a safety issue. Well, how weak are you going to look when you're laid up in the hospital? How weak are you going to look when you see your friends, children, without their mother or father? But you could have said something and didn't. Look, it's a law. Proper excavation and trenching techniques and OSHA rules got to be a part of your job site. They have to be. Not just for your benefit, not just for the benefit of the people around you, but for your kids' benefit as well. All right? After a while, the whole pride thing wears off and people get used to it. Right? And, and now safety is a part of your life. Not the poisonous snake that's the trench, but the prevention to keep you from getting bit by it is now part of your life. Start watching your buddies back. Okay, whether they're willing to admit it or not, they will appreciate it. Whether their family knows about it or not, they will appreciate it. And by you watching their back, they'll start watching your back. Now you got somebody who's watching your back. Never dig until you know that it's safe. So everybody, outlining this course, we're going to talk about the aspects and characteristics of, of excavation and trenching. Gonna talk about the OSHA requirements to include reviewing the OSHA guidelines prior to every dig. And I know people, and I know from being on job sites that when it comes to the, hey, let's all gather around and talk about safety, a lot of people will roll their eyes at that. But remember what I said in the previous lecture. We all have families that count on us. All right, we all have jobs, and we all have paychecks that our families depend on. So let's do the right thing. We're going to talk about the responsibilities that your employers have to you and your team as far as keeping you safe. And again, there's a pride issue here. Nobody wants to go to their employer and talk about safety issues. Okay, well, that could be understandable to a certain extent from the employer's viewpoint. You know, nobody likes a tattletale or nobody likes, uh, you know, the good idea fairy. However, if you come with a solution, that's a totally different ballgame. You're not just pointing a finger. You're providing a solution that's going to save your company money. Let them know that. That's why I've given you this course. That's why you can download it. Take the PowerPoint slides. Go to your management and say, hey, look, I just want to pass this off on to you because there's a couple of issues. And I know if you just get this out there in the field, uh, things will be a little bit better. And then you offer to disseminate it in the field for them. And then before you know it, they just may make you the safety guy. And guess what? If they're going to make you the safety guy, that should come with a little more money in that paycheck. Also in this course, we're going to talk about the definitions and differences between an excavation and a trench and uh, how to identify them. We're going to talk about hazards such as cave-ins. We're going to talk about how to work safely in and around trenches through, once again, proper planning. In the military, we have a saying. Your failure to plan results in a plan to fail. Okay, When it comes to working down in a hole in the earth, we do not want that plan to fail. Okay, So we're going to talk about proper planning. We're going to talk about how to test the soil. You know, without any fancy equipment, just by using your eyes and using your hands and, and what you know, uh, we're going to talk about how to test the soil so you can apply the proper safety measures. We're going to talk about mobile equipment operating near and around the trench. 
what to do if there's an old power line or there's an old sewer line. We're going to talk about what to do before you dig. We're also going to talk about how you can be the competent person, who the competent person is supposed to be, or how to... Hey everybody, thanks so much for enrolling in this course. This is OSHA's 1926.651 and 652 subpart P, Trenching, Excavation, and Soil Mechanics. However, we're not just going to touch on that. Yes, that is the detailed focus, but this course is going to enable you to be a well-rounded safety individual. You will further ensure that you and your colleagues go back home to their families who love them in the same condition in which they left. So thank you for that already. This course is yours. Take it and do whatever you want with it. I want you to use this course for your benefit, to give your management and your people an excuse to move you up. Use this course to show them that you have what it takes. Take it to your safety officer. Take it to your health and safety department. Put the course on for people. It's yours, and use it to level up. I welcome any comments, and I look forward to them in the comments section in the individual lectures. Please know that I'm here for you.